Welcome back to another video. Hope you are having a great day. And today to take a look at a awesome device. This is a HDMI matrix multi viewer switch, which besides having capabilities of a matrix capabilities of a switch, it also has multi view, which basically will allow us to have on one single display four different images from four different sources and that is just awesome now besides that it's capable of doing much more and that being said let's go take a closer look at it inside the package we'll find the user manual which is really complete so if we have any kind of question I'm sure that it will be right over here and of course also on the online support of Ore. there's also a power adapter which has a safety screw so once we plug it in and screw it it will be impossible to trigger and disconnect the units so we will need to unscrew and then remove it comes with four rubber feet which we can just place beneath the units one on each of these marks so that it will be placed on any surface and it will not slip we also have a usb type a to micro usb cable a remote control so that we can control all the functions of the hdmi matrix multi viewer and also these small brackets and these screws so that we can put it on a server rack or even on any other kinds of closet besides that we also have the hdmi matrix multi viewer unit at the back we have all the ports so four hdmi inputs right over here and two hdmi outputs which will go out to each of the displays there is a audio output there in this particular case 3.5 millimeter jack a optical out micro usb the safety screw for the power input and on and off button at the front we have a power indication led infrared receiver and then the led indication for output b led indication for output a and which we will see how it works in just a few moments we also have the button for the scaler audio mode select b and select a let's set it up and now with a setup example for the ore hdmi matrix multi viewer switch and as we can see a really cool multi view on this particular screen with four different devices i've got a android tv box here android tv box right over here so if i want to uh, control this one i can control and it's the one that i'm using also on screen b so we can see that i'm changing here and i'm also changing right over here if i want to control this device then i can which is device number two and then device number three is the uh, windows computer right over here which i can control and then lastly i've got a mac os computer which we can also control so we can use any operating system with the system we can show everything that we want it will output images is up to 4k at 30 hertz now only the output a is able to display the multi view output b as we will see will not be able and this system also has the option for upscale and downscale through the scaler right over here so that we can increase the resolution or lower the resolution according to the device that we are using and according to the display that we are using but that being said let's take a look at the interface we've got the leds for the output b and leds for the output a and then we have the option for scalar audio to select if we want to output the audio on the 3.5 or optical and then also the modes and select b select a now if we press select a we will change and we will cycle through output or input one input two input three and input four and we will be able to tell that by this slit if we press the select b it will cycle through the b and as we can see there is a small delay on the b side but not on the a side so if we select once again we will see but if we select a it will be instantaneous showing the image which is really cool this will always depend also on our display if it refreshes faster or not but as we can see there's always a difference between one and the other so we are on input number four on this display and input number one on this display so really easy to read the information really easy to navigate through the inputs that we have if we want to achieve the multi view we just need to press the mode button it will show me a vertical image if we press once again 
it will show me a horizontal image with the first two, one and two. If I press again, it will show me the four images displayed by the first three right over here, which I can actually control all of them as I want. So I'm controlling this image right over here. I can see everything. And of course, on number one, we have the main image. And then if we press once again, then we will have the multi view, which will show us the four inputs that we have. Now, the other option that we have to control is through the remote control. So I can select output A, which is this one right over here output B, which is this display right over here. Then we have the mode, picture in picture, copy, audio, scalar, modify, and then stretch and OSD. So if we want to change output A, I just need to select which one I want and we can change and it's really, really fast as we can see. And then the same for the output B, I can just select number three, for example, it will take a little bit longer. I can select number four will take a bit longer than display A. Now if I select number one, there we go. Here we have the Android TV box. Now besides that, we also have the mode available. So I can select exactly what we were selecting right over here. And we also have another option. So if I change the output A for the Windows computer, and if I want to use the picture in picture mode, I can just press picture in picture, and I will have my source right over here. So I can select here or here, or here, which is really cool. And really cool as well is that if I have these two screens in two different places, like a shop, for example, in two different walls, and I want to copy exactly the same setup that I've got on display A to display B, I just need to press the button that says copy and there we go. At this moment, display B is copying display A. And one of the cool things as well is that if I want to change display A to number one, for example, display B will do a exact copy. And as we could see, no delay at all. So if I change the A, which is what I'm changing right now, what happens is that everything will be displayed right over there. Even if we go right over here and press mode, it will give me the multi view on the same display as well. So in this particular case, using copy mode, what happens is that we will be able to have the multi view on display B as well, not only on the A, but we can't forget that if I change the A, then the B will go along with it. But that is really, really cool. And then lastly, we have these four buttons, the OST that will give us the information that at this moment, my device is outputting 1080 at 60 Hertz. And in terms of audio is outputting 2.1 channel. And basically this is it really simple to use. So this device will give us a lot of possibilities, a lot of scenarios as we have seen, but at the same time, it's so simple that any one can use it and we can change on the interface right over here or we can use the remote control to change everything that we want. That being said, hope that the video was helpful. Hope that you enjoyed to know this device right over here, which can be really, really handy. If you still have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us by email down below on the video description. And besides that, if you want to leave a comment down below, feel free to do. If you still haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider doing it so that we can share news and tips such as this one. My name is Roberto George, and as always, I'll see you on the next one.